This story began a few months ago when I was looking for pictures of Harrogate to go in our current exhibition and I was looking through an archival box of photographs and all sorts with our local historian Malcolm Neeson and we came across this little brown envelope full of drawings, beautiful drawings of Harrogate. Well, the first one that caught my attention was of a building that I thought, I'm sure I recognise that, but where is it? And I realised it's gone, been demolished. And that was why I was particularly interested with my interest in Harrogate, never having seen some of these buildings, because they just weren't photographed. We found one with a signature on it here. This little one here has got a George R. Walker and a date along the bottom. And that was our only clue to what these drawings might be. I went through all the usual channels to try and track him down. Uh, there was no record of him as an artist in Harrogate at that time. So I was stumped and decided to put some of these drawings onto social media just to see if our local community could help us with information. And that's where uh, pieces of the jigsaw started to pop together. Um, members of George's family recognised the name, people who remember their dads working with George in the 60s, and all this backstory started to piece together, and we suddenly had a real feel for who George Walker was and, and how he was making these drawings of Harrogate, capturing the town at a time when it was changing his buildings being demolished, new buildings coming along, and he was there at that critical moment drawing it all. George was my grandfather's brother-in-law. He went everywhere on his bicycle. Uh, and it was a rickety, from the earliest memory, it was the same bicycle, it was a rickety old thing, had together with bits of wire and bits of string recorded himself in the 1939 registration as a master sign writer and decorator. Uh, he worked for the hospital board all the time we knew him as a, as a decorator. He uh, was a very quiet, unassuming man and, and would probably be feeling very embarrassed at all the attention that we were giving him you know, here today. Uh, but if you look at the drawings, they're just absolutely fantastic. We've had an amazing opportunity to pull all these elements of George's life together, his, his family members, his work, uh, memories of him, stories about him, even a lovely photograph of him. Um, and it's, it's given us such a, a fleshed out view of, of who he was and what he was doing. And um, it's something that we can now add to our archive of his drawings.